The tech course focuses on how design is influenced by the world around us. In this class, students create and assess solutions using the engineering design process and are exposed to various tools, strategies, and techniques that enhance their learning. They then present their ideas using various effective communication methods. Our science department allows students to intimately explore and understand how the world works around them through a hands-on, minds-on learning model involving countless labs, activities, and experiments, students do not just learn topics, they master them. With the guidance of our faculty, students are thought to critically analyze issues and come up with applicable solutions. Additionally, projects in our curriculum offer invaluable experience that allow students to shine and stay ahead of the curve once they reach higher studies or the workforce. A science and technology based extracurricular opportunity for all 21st century high school learners includes a community wide hackathon event where all participants can work collaboratively and design a solution to a given problem. Bullfuck participants are able to present their innovative solutions to a panel of community experts from numerous industries and gain valuable feedback and knowledge by networking with them. Students with skills in, but not limited to, computer programming, problem solving, and project management will thrive at this challenge. Our science tech program comes with some of the best technology you won't find normally. We carry top-notch machines like laser cutters, 3D printers, lathe machines, and milling machines. Our wonderful teachers will guide you to use these machines with proper safety precautions while you enjoy the experience. You can make your imagination come to life and create an extraordinary design. Inquiry-based learning, problem solving, and critical thinking into our teaching and learning approaches. Our SciTech math students have the opportunity to explore mathematical ideas at a deeper level through hands-on learning tasks and cross-curricular projects. When students are having fun and are engaged in the learning process, math becomes exciting, relevant, and meaningful. For more information on the program, please visit Chinkuzi Secondary School's website under peelschools.org. Hello, and welcome to Chinkuzi's first virtual open house. My name is Ms. Nevea, and I am the cross-curricular department head for the SciTech program. I'm also one of the SciTech teachers here at Chinkuzi Secondary. First, I want to thank you for taking the time from your busy schedule to join us in our first virtual open house. And I hope you find this informational and you get to see some of the amazing work that our students have worked on last year. We are a STEM-based program, which stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. But it is so much more than four subjects being integrated into each other. STEM-based learning fosters creativity, resilience, grit, and communication. Key characteristics for innovative thinkers and problem solvers today. We are no longer preparing our students to work for the jobs of the future. We are preparing them to create these jobs. At Chinkuzi, we focus on creative and critical thinking. It is not enough to be able to memorize information. We want our students to be able to implement this information and solve real life problems. So how do we do that? We create projects that cross over subjects where students can experience and see the needs of multiple skills. This is only possible by scheduling your students so that they travel together. So that if you're sitting in a grade 9 science first period, in second period, they're sitting in my tech class. What is so special about that? Well, students can work on their science portion of their project during science and then sign and test their models in their tech class. As you can see on the screen, one of the projects that we work on is our hovercraft. In science, they learn about electricity and how to connect wires to create a circuit. And then in tech, they come down and build a hovercraft that actually has to move. Nothing is more exciting than seeing your students' eyes pop out when they actually get this to work. 
In grade 10, our students get to innovate a design that beneficially impacts science, technology, society, and the environment. On our screen, you can see that one of our students decided to redesign um, a device that will hold a phone while you are looking through the microscope. So you can take pictures um, easier. On the right hand, you're going to see a redesign of the Red Cross First Aid Kit where it will assist you in whatever injury you are attending to. So for example, if you had a bug bite, you would go to the side and look for bug bite, press the bug bite button, and then the right equipment will light up, making it easier for you to use the first aid kit. We are able to do this for grade nine and 10. However, in the senior levels, we are shaping your direction to post-secondary education. You can decide to steer your focus towards medical science or engineering. We wanted to keep the cross-curricular aspect that makes this program so unique. However, because students pick other pathways, the projects now become a curricular cross rather than classes. During this, they develop skills that they will be used in Hadra education and or the workplace. The why SciTech? We promote inquiry-based learning. Our classrooms are filled with students that share the same passion, which results in an engaged classroom environment. Our students are constantly being encouraged to think outside the box. We try to promote and teach our students to collaborate, to share ideas. We plan trips and have speakers that enhance their learning. We create projects in all four years that cross between subjects. They use their strengths, work together, and learn the curriculum to solve real, authentic challenges given to them. I can brag about our equipment, but the equipment we have are tools to enhance our students' learning. However, it is the strategies and the way our teachers present lessons that sets our program apart. At Chincuzi, we are strong believers in students' life balance, and we offer numerous extracurricular activities such as robotics, link crew, volleyball, wall packs, to, to mention a few. As part of a well-rounded education, we believe in an active lifestyle, active body, and active mind. Our graduates leave this building with so much more than just subject knowledge. They leave with skills that are transferable to any career path they wish to follow. Last year, we surveyed our graduating class and these are some of the universities that our SciTech graduates have been accepted to. Please take note that this program will not guarantee your son and daughter gets accepted into these universities. However, I can guarantee that they will be more prepared to stay in college or university. Our graduates come back and can't stop bragging about how they're able to do proper research papers while the rest of their class is still trying to cite their work properly. So how are we able to make this all happen? Our programming is what allows us to do a lot of the cross-curricular projects that sets us apart from other programs. As you can see, the top row are the courses the students in the SciTech course will be taking with other students that are also in the SciTech program. The bottom row are your mandatory courses that you must take in order to graduate. This includes the one elective. Same goes for grade 10. And in grade 11 and 12, as discussed, students are focusing on their path to post-secondary, but are still required to take one regional science or one regional tech course. In grade 12, it is either one science, one tech, or two sciences, or two techs, or one of each. Application process. Applications open on November 9th at 8.30 a.m. and should be completed by November 23rd at 3 p.m. Appeal Board students will enter their basic information, such as address and student number, and your data, which includes grades, will be downloaded into the system automatically. non peel Board students must bring their Grade 7 Final Report Card and Grade 8 Progress Report, and these will be manually put into the system. Please make sure that these are brought to our school or emailed by November 20th at 8.30 a.m. Students north of the 401 will apply to Jincuzi Secondary. Those that live south of the 401 will apply to Port Credit. Based on process of self-identification, all African, Black, First Nations, Inuits, and Métis students who self-identify and meet the criteria for admissions will be accepted into the program without participating in the random selection process. 
the random selection process is completed centrally at the board level and not at the school level. Offers will be emailed on February 1st. When you're accepting this, please consider student transportation. We have students coming from far and it sometimes takes them hours to get to school. And by the time they get here, they're mentally drained and not ready to be engaged in class. Please remember that our school starts at 8 a.m. We have students complete grade nine and realize how hard it is to get up and make it to school on time. They then decide to go back to their home schools. At this point, the school is now unable to fill that seat, which could have been someone else's opportunity. So please consider again transportation when you are applying to our program. These are some of the key dates to keep in mind during the whole process. These will be posted on the Peel website. How do I accept an offer? Reply by the deadline indicated in the offer email. You are not enrolled until the $200 fee is paid and fees are paid online or if you prefer to pay by check, you can do that at the school. Financial support is available. Please connect with our school principal if that is the case. Random selection process. Applicants are offered space in a regional learning choice program based on two steps. Step number one, once a student applies, there will be a review of the report cards. If a student meets the program criteria, they will move on to the second step in the process. Step number two, if the student meets the program criteria, their applications will be entered into the random selection process for each program. In the random selection process, a computer will randomly assign a number to each applicant who has successfully met the criteria for each program and spaces for the program will be offered. The random selection process is completed centrally at the board level and not at the school level. All African, Black, First Nations, Inuits, and Métis students who self-identify and meet the criteria for admissions will be accepted into the program without participating in the random selection process. Offers Acceptance and Waitlist Each regional program has a specific number of spots and offers of acceptance will be sent to the specific number of applicants. If a student applies to multiple programs and accepts one offer, they will automatically be removed from the other programs that they apply to. Once students have been offered all available spaces in a specific regional learning program, the remaining students will be placed on the school's waitlist and will be offered a spot if one becomes available. Our program has 173 spots to fill on the first round of offers. The school will send out an email to the first 173 students that have been selected from the random selection process. If at the end of the week we have 150 acceptances, then on the second round, we will send out an email to the first 23 students on that waitlist. At the end of the second week, if we receive acceptances for 20 students, then we will still have three spots available, and we will keep going down the waitlist until we fill 173 spots. All regional programs are open to eligible students, students who meet the criteria for acceptance to the program and who live in the Peel region will be offered spots first. Students who meet the program criteria and who live outside the Peel region will be offered spots once local students' applicants have been accommodated. In some cases, all spots may be offered to students who live in Peel. Students who live in Peel can only apply to regional programs they are eligible for based on the program's boundary. The Peel Board considers all Peel students, not just Peel Board students, before it considers outside Peel applications, but our LSCP boundaries are honored based on address. Transportation is not provided for students in regional programs. If students have been accepted into a regional program and they live within the boundaries, they are qualified for busing only if they meet the distance criteria outlined in Policy 39 of Transportation. Thank you for your interest in our SciTech program. If you have any further questions, please visit our website.